coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. All right, guys, we, we, we're nearing the uh, final stretch of this 30-part series on Blue Collar Leadership Leading from the Front Lines. The last two episodes, I talked about doing more than is expected. Then I talked about doing it sooner than it is expected. And today on part 27 of 30, we're going to talk about doing it better than expected. And actually, if you're doing more than is expected and you're doing things sooner than is expected, guess what? You actually are doing it better than expected. When it comes down to this, when you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. Those are the words of George Washington Carver. When you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. That's what this whole little book is about. You helping yourself or you helping your team do common things in an uncommon way. We got to change this world and we got to make it better. Just like George Washington Carver said, when you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. So doing things better than expected, again, common sense, but it increases your influence. Why wouldn't I do them better than expected if I want to increase my influence, which increases my options? Doing things worse than expected decreases your influence. It's, it's all this stuff, folks, it's common sense. Why don't we do it? When you pay attention to the details and go above and beyond expectations, people pay attention to you. Think about that. If you're on the front lines, quit listening to all these average moaners and groaners and whiners and all this kind of junk that's going on out there. You think about this. When you pay attention to the details and you go above and beyond expectations, people pay attention to you. They ain't going to pay attention to the whiners out there beside you. They're going to pay attention to the shiners. And hopefully you're one of those shiners. We can either shine or whine. I, I prefer to shine myself. But don't get me wrong. There used to be days back in the old days before I learned all this, started applying it. Man, I was one of the biggest whiners you'd ever meet. I walked through the front door trying to stir up trouble. But I'm better now, remember? You don't have to be sick to get better. But I was pretty sick back in those days. If you want to do it better than expected on the front lines, do these two things. Number one, always focus on developing yourself. You're doing it and listen to this audio right now to this podcast. And go back. This is episode 91. There's 90 more episodes recorded before this one. Go dive into that. I highly encourage you to get this book. Get all of my blue collar. If you're in the blue collar industry, it doesn't matter what level you are, what position you are. You need all four of my blue collar books. You need to go dig into those things. They're all 30 chapters, three pages per chapter. Easy reads. Dive into those things. Digest them. And, and you don't even know where you're going to go. It's going to be far beyond what you can imagine if you start applying that stuff. And if you can start leading and influencing others to apply what's in these books. But it's a little toolkit for you. And at this time, there's four books, but there's going to be more. I'm going to write a lot more. The next book I write in the Blue Collar series, the fifth book, is going to be the five types of blue collar leaders. And I'm going to talk about managerial leaders, relational leaders, motivational leaders inspirational leaders and ultimately transformational leaders. So that book will be the next one whenever I get ready to make it happen. It's already on the drawing board. The second thing you need to do beyond moving, but beyond focusing on developing yourself, 
It's focused on improving the processes where you work. As you grow and develop yourself, improving the processes is a natural byproduct of your growth. Because you're not going to be worried about who gets credit. You're not going to be worried about if you get paid for it. Because you're going to gain experience and you're going to get noticed by high impact people. And let's say you do it and nobody notices. Nobody cares. And nobody pays you for improving the processes. You do it anyway. Because if you're, if you're working in a place like that, you're not going to be working there long, hopefully. Especially if you're studying my content. You're going to move on. And then when you move on and you get to that next interview, it could be in the same company in a different department or a different company within the same company at a different plant, a different city. Or it may be a completely different company altogether. You may leave that company and go to another company. But when you sit down for the interview, you're going to get to tell what you've done in your other job. And if you ain't been improving the processes, you ain't going to be able to say that with integrity. But if you have and you got examples, that makes you more valuable. If nobody else is talking about how they improved endless numbers of processes, if they can't talk this language where you've been studying these books and applying this stuff, you so far ahead, you go pick out what job you want. But you got to change who you are on the inside so that you can get the results you want on the outside. It's that easy. Whatever job you want, it's out there today waiting on you to show up. You can really create tremendous synergy Remember, synergy is where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. It's where the relationship between the parts add value. But you can really create tremendous synergy when you blend doing more than expected with doing it sooner and better than expected. The result is actually proactive process improvement and also proactive personal development. You win on all fronts. So don't measure yourself by what you, and what I'm about to share with you is a quote from John Wooden. And I love it. John Wooden said, don't measure yourself by what you have accomplished, but rather by what you should have accomplished with your ability. That's a big deal. I'm going to say it again. Don't miss it. Don't measure yourself by what you have accomplished, but rather by what you should have accomplished with your ability. That's some serious business right there because it's easy to look at whatever you've accomplished and say, I'm the man or I'm the woman. It's always easier to look around, find somebody who hasn't done what you've done. That's so easy, it's ridiculous. And then you can put yourself up on a little pedestal and look special. I'm telling you what, you ain't that special. Neither am I. What you need to do is look in the mirror and say, what should I have accomplished with my ability? And when you go when you go look, looking for that truth, You're going to find out you ain't done nothing yet. You definitely ain't going to think you're special. That's what I think when I look in the mirror. I'm about to be 50 years old in 2019. I didn't get serious till 2008. When I was 39, that's when my light bulb really come on. I'm still making up. I'm making up for 39 lost years of, of goofing around with my character. I don't know how old you are, but I'm telling you telling you this. Until you measure yourself by what you're capable of, you ain't measuring yourself. It doesn't matter what somebody else is capable of. What are you capable of? What are you doing? You turning on the TV or are you turning on this podcast? You picking up a beer or are you picking up a book? You decide. Mark Miller, the vice president of leadership development at Chick-fil-A, he's had this to say. When you invest in emerging leaders, it means you're serious about creating the future rather than just hoping it works out. And the reason I threw this quote in here at the end, this book, this series we've been going over, we still got a few chapters left. This my book, Blue Collar Leadership, Leading from the Front Lines. It's about developing emerging leaders. This book was intended for those on the front lines who've never led anybody. It's helping them become a high impact leader right where they are because they don't need a position. You grow and develop leaders across your entire workforce on the front lines. You ain't got a problem promoting from within. You got people lined up waiting for the next position to open up. And then you got a tough choice. 
and you're kicking everybody's tail, so you're growing. You're gaining business. So if you're a leader, invest in emerging leaders. How do you know who they are? They're out there breathing. That's how you identify an emerging leader. They're breathing. They're going to be exactly where you led them if you're their leader. And if you're just growing and developing yourself, you're actually on the front line listening to this. I expect just as much out of you as I do somebody who's a CEO. Lead yourself well. That's what this book is about. Lead yourself well, and you will deserve to lead others. But I'm going to tell you this. Those who don't lead themselves well, they don't deserve to lead others at all. Unfortunately, they get given the opportunity, but I wouldn't give them the opportunity, and they definitely don't deserve it. So we got three chapters left. That's going to do it for today. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you next time. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others now available on audio along with paperback and eBooks at Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, certifications, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.